Hey guys, Talk Recycling FTV. Sorry, got some stuff in my glasses. All right, all right. Anyways, uh, so we're getting ready to do some work today, and we're gonna go back to this X8R, uh, this receiver that we got. And you know what? I put my, I put my, uh, put my receiver down. Now I gotta go find the receiver. One second. Gonna go find my receiver. I'm gonna go find the battery. Be right back. All right, I think this will work. I'm right, sorry, transmitter, not the receiver. I have to find the transmitter. Okay, so we're going to be using uh, uh, this uh, X90 uh, Plus Access Edition. And um, I'm just going to put the battery in. So I'm going to show you. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try something different this time. Uh, I'm going to see if I can do a... I don't think two different angles are going to help, actually. So let's, let's do this. Darn it. Let's try this. All right. <clears throat> so here's what we're going to do. Uh, the gentleman, when I did this video uh, a couple weeks ago, or maybe a week ago, the gentleman actually wrote me back and said, hey, look, that's cool and all, but that's not the problem I was having. It wasn't that it wasn't running an S, uh, S bus because he's not trying S bus. He said that it wasn't running uh, doing PWM, right? So basically uh, running one servo. He's running this on a car, if I'm not mistaken. I believe it was a car or something like that, and he cannot get the servos to respond. So I said, okay, hold on. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to hook this up, and I'm going to show you that that works too. So that's what we're going to do real quick. I'm going to try to get this to where you can see it. Uh, I think that'll show up on the screen. Let me check the screen. Let me check and see. Pull this little kickstand out. Okay, so, well, that'll be as good as it can get. Let me see if I can. There. All right, let's, let's, let's try that. Okay, good. So you can see that right there. Man, I tell you what, I spent the whole morning cleaning up my desk, and now I'm just knocking everything over. All right, fine. So let's go ahead and turn this on. Okay. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And I believe that I have, yeah, so I have, I have uh, the setup already done. So now I'm just going to grab servo, right, and I'm just going to grab any one of them, okay, because it really doesn't matter. What we're going to do is we're just going to go channels one through four to start, and we're going to see what happens, okay? So let's see what we got. All right. Now, I do need to give a five-volt power source to this, and so what I did was I actually used this, the same NACE32 board, that I had used to test it as far as reading into uh, beta flight under SBUS, I'm gonna use that to be my power source, okay? So I'm gonna take this positive, which is gonna be the uh, yellow, is gonna be our positive, and I'm gonna take the blue, which we're gonna treat as our ground, and I'm gonna give it five volt from the uh, um, uh, AC to DC converter, all right? So let me get these alligator clips out, and it's pretty simple, there's nothing, nothing really tough to this. We just wanna make sure that we're getting five volts, and since the NACE32 does not have um, a regulator built into it to take 12 volts down. I'm just going to just make sure to adjust my uh, voltage out of the machine here to 5 volts. Let me take that down. And here we go. One second. Okay. We're now at 5 volts, so I can safely plug in uh, my ground, which will be my blue. And I'll plug in my positive, which will be my yellow. And you should see the board light up. There we go. So we're in business there. The nasal is officially powered up. Now, these two cables here are the positive and ground that the nasal puts out for your receiver. So I'm just going to plug in. I'm going to go here and go on the bottom rail here. And I'm going to give uh, where it says S bus. I'm just going to use that. It's the same ground and positive. So I'm going to go ground so that I can power the receiver. Uh, and then I'm going to go for the middle one for positive. And there we go. So now what you're going to see is a bunch of blinking lights. Uh, well, actually, you're going to see a solid green because it is bound here. And you can see on our, on our radio now that we're actually bound. Okay, so we've got the signals to this. Okay, so with that said, um, what we're going to do now is we're going to take this servo and we're going to plug it into each channel of our, uh, we're going to go channels one. So uh, as you can see here uh, on the side sticker here, you have ground, positive, and then your signal. So this means that this is going to plug in this way, okay? And then I, I think you can see this, but in case you can't, I'm just going to stick something on this servo so you can see it moving, all right? And what we'll do is we'll use um, this little leg right here. I'm just going to get it to go on. I don't really care what it does. And you can see how it moved. So as you can see, I hope you can see that, right? Yeah. Okay, channel one, good. Okay, now we're gonna go to channel two. Channel two. Sorry, those are my batteries charging back there, so apologize. So, 
as you can see, channel two is good. Let's go to channel three. Good. Channel four. Good. Now, I don't know what I have for channel five, but we're gonna see. I don't know if I have something. I think I do have something programmed, but I'm not sure. Maybe a switch. Yep. Okay. So channel five, good. And I, I, I think I even have a channel six, which may be my mode. Yep. And I might even have a channel seven, which may be my fail safe. So let's see. Yep, there we go. Okay, now I don't have anything programmed for channel eight, but if I was to do, well, maybe I do. It acted like I did. Oh, too bad. I was hoping maybe I had something cool, but. No, okay, so if I wanted to do it just to, just because we wanted to uh, um, add something cool, uh, so we could go, I, th I thought I did, but I guess not. So let's go to channel eight. And we're just going to add it as a, um, a uh, oh, I don't know. We'll just call it slider. Uh, so we'll just call it slider. So let's go to, sorry, I am hungry, so I got the shakes a little bit. Let me just, okay, L, I, E, okay, slid, great. We'll do it again. This will be a good testing setup anyway. So that's what this X9 is for, is just for testing purposes. So... Uh, might as well get these ready because I know we're going to have more people. Now that we're a uh, Free Sky Repair Center, RMA Center, uh, I know we're going to have more questions coming in. So I'm just going to reserve some of these. So uh, we're going to call this a slider. Okay. And we're going to go down to our source. I'm just going to turn the S2. I'm going to exit. All right. Now, you're not going to get any action yet, right? Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to page. Or sorry, ah, menu, page. And then we're going to go to our uh, mixer. And we're going to add, uh, we're going to click this, and we're going to go call it slider as well. I don't know why I did that. I was so close. There you go. Okay. And now, when I turn it, Right, so it can almost crawl, right? It's just going to lift itself up. There you go. And if you want to look at it from the top, you can see. Okay, so we have all eight channels working perfect. All right, guys. So, yes, I know it's working. Thank you. Okay, let's turn that off. Unplug this battery. Put the plate back on. And give me one second here. There we go. That's one. The battery. Let's power the thing off here. And that pretty much wraps it up all right so uh let's go back here there we go all right guys so that pretty much does it um uh so we use we use a servo to test and we use the uh, x8r right and and these two together oh sorry along with the uh, nays that's dangling right there so with these two together or these three together very simple way to test your stuff um and you know you don't have to have the newest board again as i've said in many videos the nays 32 is my favorite board it's a beast. It can handle pretty much anything. You could smash this thing into the ground. It still works. Not like these sensitive boards of today. But anyways, either way, though, it makes for an easy testing board as well. So if you ever want to set up a little testing uh, uh, block where you can test your ETXs and everything, these are a great way to go, right? And so are some other boards. I mean, this is the other way. But uh, all right, if you have any questions, guys, please, as always, uh, head over to the Facebook group or head over to our website. You can use our support contact page. And then, as always, please follow us on Facebook. And please, 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 please subscribe below and just show that you're supporting our, our efforts. Uh, all the videos are free. I don't charge for any of the support at all. So uh, you're, all I ask is you please just uh, subscribe and then let's let others know to subscribe, okay? All right, guys. Other than that, God bless. Be safe. It is Sunday. It is 1.37 in the uh, afternoon and we are about to do something fun by the way uh, my wife has asked me to teach her how to solder she wants to start helping me do some work so we're going to do our first soldering lesson uh with samantha and i'm i'm beyond excited it means the world to me so uh we'll see what happens hopefully we won't kill each other in the process god bless be safe spend time with your family guys you never know how much time you have left so please make the most of it you can always fly later talk to you soon peace bye